Hello, and welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're hopping into the Kodiak for the first time on this channel, but we're not doing the thing that everyone else does. We've seen what it looks like. It's a wicked awesome flying plane. But there is one little problem that we can address with frames per second. So let's go ahead, jump in, and get into it. When we come in, the first thing we know is that the standby attitude indicator here on the left hand side is causing us to have a frames per second hit. Now this can range anywhere from about 10 to 12 frames per second depending on what your hardware does, but there is one way of dealing with this. You can reach down here and you can pop out the circuit breaker which will disable it. And doing that, you can see that the frames per second is gonna jump up about that 10 or 11 frames per second, depending on your hardware. So here, we've gone all the way back up to 44, 45, 43 frames per second. Now I've also hooked up a button on my stream deck, thanks to spad.next, and that allows me to turn on and off the circuit. But first, you have to make sure that you put the breaker back in, otherwise it's not gonna work. So now you could see as I toggle on and off the gauge by turning off its circuit, we're able to bring that frames per second back up to 44. We knock it off and you see it slams all the way back down to 33 or 34 frames. So this is where we wanna get to. We still wanna have a standby instrument. So thanks to some of the wonderful people over in the Working Title Discord, we know how to do it. So jumping here into our community folder, it's in the usual place, going into users, all the way down to the local cache, packages, community. Once we get down in here, we want to go find our SWS Kodiak on wheels. Jumping in, we're going to head into sim objects, then we're going to go into the airplanes, and we're just gonna go into the Kodiak gear. This is kind of like the base package where we find the panel. Now we're gonna right click and edit with Notepad++. Don't forget to head into language and set up as XML to make it easier. First thing we wanna do is come to this gauge and we want to comment it out. So this is the gauge that's giving us the hassle, couple slashes, comment it out. Next, we're gonna paste this in. HTML gauges, nav systems, the backup, so that is then going to call up the standard AeroSoft altitude backup. And we're gonna place it in exactly the same location, 512.384. Make sure to save it. Now let's go and get back into the Kodiak. As you can see, we're now in, we've got a different looking backup gauge. And as we turn it on and off, our frames per second is holding steady at 44 or 45. I hope you like this. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't and come along with us next time when we're going to do a little bit more fun with the Kodiak. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.